Hello, this is Toyar, and welcome back to Let's Play The Witcher 2 with Lore. So, Witcher, we we're waiting. Yeah, they're waiting. We've finished the prologue and we've arrived in Flotsam. Let's go on. And in this episode, come on already. We'll talk a bit about Geralt's past, but when we're not talking to them, obviously. Any news from your secret informer? The port's blocked. Some merchants are being held up for months. What about roads through the forest? Yorveth rules the forest. Oh, let's just loot a few things first. You're not doing RPG right if you're not looting, apparently. Come on! She just has a weird walk, doesn't she? Okay, pretty forest. Where Which are we? We actually did get two talents, so let's. Um, because we can't, uh, we can't really put them into anything else than this basic tree, so. Let's do that. Mm. Oh, ability to re redirect arrows, definitely. Dagger throwing, maybe. Oh, this gives us a mutagen. So this probably does so as well. So let's take this one also. The mutagens, well, we'll talk about it later. We don't have any at the moment. And those are still locked. In a forest? Very funny. But who does it belong to? Yorveth, maybe? I know more about the Pontar Valley than you think. For instance, I know that Foltest stole this land from Demavend a few years back. I believe you had a hand in that. Demavend was the king that we saw murdered in the intro cinematic. Just a quick reminder. Hear that? I smell an elf. Hmm. Hmm. Some, uh, some herbs in the meantime. We have seen him just a minute ago. That's Vernon Roach, Special Forces Commander for the last four years, servant of the Temerian King, responsible for the pacification of the Mahakaman foothills, hunter of elves, murderer of women and children. Twice decorated for valor on the field of battle. Yorveth, a regular son of a whore. I've long awaited our meeting. Laid plans, set traps, and now you appear in my forest of your own volition. You aided the man who slew my king. King or beggar, what's the difference? One dwan less. Hmm. Oh. A hired killer, true. Oh, but in all certainty, he is no dwan. Don't make a big deal of the race thing. Yet race is the very reason we fight. We have pointed ears, yours are rounded. We are few yet long-lived. Your kind multiplies like vermin, though thankfully expires quickly. Humans and elves alike, trying to prove one shape is better than the other. Four hundred years of killing over the mold of the Oracle. The Kingslayer is among you. We've come for him. Then our interests collide. The Kingslayer is under my protection, and I'll not hand over a guest. You're just another old elf in a young elf's skin, using clever words to mask an obvious truth. Obvious, you say? This is not about race or freedom, or even vengeance. You're here because someone powerful told you to be. Someone who's using you. They may wear a crown, carry a magic wand, or even lead a guild. But be sure of this. It's not about your freedom, your rights, or your ears. Nilfgaard plowed you once, now someone new does. Am I wrong? Those times have gone. No one will ever use the square tal again. Who are you addressing? Me, yourself, or the archers in those shrubs? Enough of this piss! Starley! Bars, parapet, lawn, wart! Okay, Triss is very useful. That ought to discourage them. Triss, are you alright? Lovely.
You should have charmed the archers. They're coming. Geralt, the spell's still working. Stay close. What? So we need to escort them now? Triss is spent, so no more butterflies. Let's get the fuck out of here. Back to the boat? There's even more of them that way. We must fight our way to towards Flotsam. Get Get your hands off my ass. Who did you think it was? I'm not a sack of flour or one of your commandos. I'm a woman. I noticed. Okay, we need to stay in the barrier, otherwise they'll probably kill us with arrows. At least I'll die holding a lovely ass. Not mine. I'll hold the spell. Come on, let's go. Are you all right? Yes, fine. Sons of bitches. What's happening? All I see are your boots. Where the hell is that trading post? I'm starting to think we'll make it. Wait, the barrier's waning. Triss! Be quick! Give me a bit more magic. Just a little. Um, Geralt, kill them now! I can't get out of the field, really. Otherwise, I'll be dead. Probably. I already did die a few times in the first episode. I don't want to do it again. Okay, we are... relatively alright. No new arrows. Oops. Isn't the spell disappearing? Destroy and sell and sack him! Alarm! Squirrels! There's a mage among them! Ready yourselves! Yeah, I guess we are... Oh, they're chasing us still. Yeah, we are out of the fire. You know each other? Rather well. But he has amnesia. I actually took the Witcher by surprise when I killed Foltest. Fear not, Elf. I know Geralt. I know his weakness. Rather ominous. <clears throat> Too many spells at once. You can die from that. See that? Yeah. The Kingslayer and Yorvith. You all in one piece? Who are you? I'm a witcher. Emirvar Emrys, spice merchant. A trader? In spices. Uh-huh. And the woman? My good man, we barely escaped death. Be so kind as to tell us where we might get some rest. We'll explain everything later. Very well. Head for the market square. You might be in time for the execution. Some ne'er-do-wells are going to hang. A dwarf and some bard. There's also an inn and a brothel. Oh yeah, the brothel sounds especially interesting. Take care now. Right. Spice merchant. Not likely. The name of Did you say that? Squirrels at our very walls. Yorveth led them. I saw him with the my own eyes. The name gave us actually the name of the new blokes? guardian emperor. They're the ones the elves were chasing. Level up, okay. Uh, the other paths are still locked. What should we choose? Vigor? Dagger throwing? Well, I don't think I will be throwing daggers, but let's just unlock the ability, because it might prove useful at some point. We should probably also take this one. When we have the talents. What about Laredo? So, the name that uh, Vernon gave, Emir van Emrys, it's actually the name of the new Guardian Emperor. Oh. This will... Okay. Well, okay. Mm. I do remember, because I, I did play this game before, just a little bit. Mm, I remember you could get some nice stuff from those crates. Let's just loot everything. And in the meantime, I'll start telling you the story of Geralt and his child. And his... Mm, well, relationship, just as uh, Triss remarked on the boat. So let's start with Yennefer. Geralt actually met Yennefer. Mm, she, well, let's 
say who she is. She's a very powerful influential sorceress with uh, black hair, raven hair, and she is uh, mm, of tiny physique. And Geralt first met her mm, while she was uh, well, she was attempting to do something not uh, not very wise. Geralt and his friend, mm, who who we will meet later, slight spoiler, were fishing, and they uh, caught caught a jar, a jar with uh, magic. Mm, well, thank you, not a good boy. Magical seal, actually. It turned out that it was a genie crafting jar. And the friend, who the friend was, well, we will know that relatively soon, the friend opened the jar, and that started the whole story. But for now, there is a little story bit here, so let's pay attention to that. Zoltan. Dandelion. And that's the friend. Just great. What's the plan? We improvise. No killing. We'll take care of this, Triss. Geralt! Geralt! Over here! Help! Yeah, definitely. We need to help our friend. Dog catcher! Step back, white one. Stand aside. I know those two, and I won't let them hang. Piss on who you know. The law says they're to hang. Carry on, and you'll join them. What are they going to hang for? They don't look dangerous. The charge is collusion with the Scoyatil. Dandelion and Elven spy? The bard's hanging for debauchery. What? The sentence was he's to hang for debauchery. And a sentence is nothing to scoff at! Mm. Are you serious? Listen here, people. Is profligacy now a punishable offense in the free kingdom of Tamaria? Or are we in Nilfgaard? A piss off, freak! Or you'll have me to deal with. Think of the common folk, you're spoiling their fun. Well, a freak he may be, but he speaks true. Debauchery is one of my favorite pastimes, but I don't want a noose placed around my neck for pursuing it. The soldier boys paid us a visit or two, though we didn't have much fun. Away with you, Margot! Go back to your brothel! Time to go? Fine. But hear this, people. He sure liked to parade about, but his willy wouldn't come to attention. Ha! <laughs> Stop the execution. Shut your trap. The thing is to hang, and he will hang. This is a decent town. Whores and witches notwithstanding. Watch your words, guardsman! I don't know witches, but Margot's a decent woman! Shut it, all of you! Or I'll not vouch for what I'll do! Thinks he's tough, showing off his balls. But don't fret, people. I've seen the rot on them. <laughs> I'm warning you for the last time, Margot! You wouldn't hit a lady. You're no lady! They're lying anyway. <laughs> He's toying with them. Oh, you freak. Want to square with the others? Cuties. Look here, out. Assaulted an officer. Get out of the way. Come on up. Got room for one more deviant. Look here, out. Assaulted an officer. Come on up. Got room for one more deviant. Look here, out!
What the hell is going on here? I said, what the arse fuck is going on? Uh, uh, I'd like to re re report. <laughs> Out of my sight, Clover. A few ploughing bandits and you can't even hang them. And you, stay calm, hands off your sword. Our scaffold embraces speeches and hangings. Which will it be? Are you in command here? Forgive me. Bernard Laredo, commander of Port Flotsam. Yes, I rule this brothel. You have no right to hang them. Interesting. Because I'm the law in Flotsam. I take issue with that. Vernon Roach, officer of the King. Well, well. Blue Stripes. The non-human hunters. Precisely. Anyone suspected of collaborating with the Scoia'tael falls under my jurisdiction. And Dandelion? What's he accused of? He burned down a watchtower. What's your jurisdiction say to that? I thought so. Is that true? It might have looked that way, but I swear it wasn't my fault. I'd rather give you a thief. Relax. I'm joking. I hate thieves. We can put on another show, bloody and serious this time, mind you, or we can come to an understanding. Meaning? Give me a minute, Witcher. Listen here. You may have heard rumors of the tragic events that transpired during the siege of Lavalette Castle. Sadly, they are true. King Foltest is dead. It's likely that Scoia'tael had a hand in this heinous murder. So you see, none of you can feel safe. That is why today, wagons with armaments will roll out into Flotsam streets. I hereby declare a state of emergency. Await orders, prepare to fight, and ready yourselves to avenge your fallen king. Now disperse. Go to your homes! Nice speech. You might as well have said outright that non-humans slew Foltest. My subjects know exactly who the enemy is. Out in that forest, grow careless for a moment, and you're a dead man. Whereas the non-humans here in town are all friendly. Friendlier than the merciless bastards out there. We let the Scoia'tael inside, and they'll skin us alive. Just before they slit our throats. Here, even the slightest sense of safety is an illusion. We'll not succumb to it for a moment. What about them? They'll not hang for now. Let's say I'm reconsidering their cases. The scaffold's no place for civil conversation. We'll talk at my home. Your friends are free for the time being, but they're not to leave town. Come after dusk. <laughs> I'll be busy till then. There's one more thing. Welcome to Flotsam, Witcher. They were really going to hang us. I, I, I don't know. I didn't mean to torch that watchtower. Everything's all right, Dandelion. Let's get out of here. Oh, we all. We all you will get out. Thank you. Time to hit the tavern. Come on, Dandelion. You need a stiff drink. And while we're at it, I'll tell you an edifying tale of local hypocrisy that conceals lechery neath a veneer of courtesy. Except nothing can hide the stench. All right, so let's walk around Flotsam, have a look at what we can get here. We'll look for some better gear, maybe. We need a silver sword. In the meantime, I started hmm. talking about how Geralt met the sorceress. Hey there, here. Witcher! Oh. Are you Geralt of Rivia, sir? Who's asking? Thank you, Master, for what you did outside Lavalette Castle. Our family would have perished if not for you. Please accept this modest gift. certainly can accept it. Thanks. Thank you. May the gods protect you. <clears throat> A cheese maker. Uh, where did we come from? I guess here. Mm. Yeah, so I started talking about how Geralt met the sorceress Yennefer. And he and Dandelion, because Dandelion was this friend. Dandelion's a bard. 
Mm, and a long time friend to Geralt. Dunblane and Geralt were fishing, and they found a jar with a genie inside. Unfortunately for both of them, Dandelion was a bit careless and actually out pulled out the plug. Got what do you want me to do? We don't She's need a, a witcher. And letting the genie loose. The genie Spilarido. then attacked Dandelion, almost killing him and choking him very, very strongly. Mm. Well, then, then he departed. Let's not get into uh, the details of how and why the genie departed because um, you should really read the story it's very interesting let's buy a salt and dandelion was very badly hurt he actually um, his throat was hurt which for a bard is uh, rather serious he, even if he could talk but couldn't sing it would be the end of his career so Geralt being the good friend that he is rushed to uh, the nearest city and sought uh, help. Unfortunately, the, um, the damages were all magical in nature, which meant that he needed magical help. And the help was uh, provided by the sorceress Yennefer, who happened to be in that town. It was, uh, it was not for free, though. Mm, the sorceress was actually pretty greedy, let's say, and not at all, mm, not at all a good Samaritan. Because what she did, um, hearing the story, she used Dandelion as bait to um, call the genie and try to capture it. Because in a genie or an ifrit or whatever the particular one is, Mm, can be a powerful source of magic or power for a sorcerer, for a wizard or a sorceress. Mm, but there was a slight mistake. She made a mistake and almost ended up dead. Geralt saved her life, and that's how their fates intertwined. They were in a relationship for a long time, and it had it. Had its ups and downs. Mm, what is important though is that uh, Geralt lived with her for quite a long time and then just left because he couldn't, uh, he My couldn't place is survive stay as they in the city and I'll not among sorcerers, wizards, and nobles. Hey, boss, look who's graced our smithy. That titan of the art of smithing can't hear us. Busy, works a blur in his hands. And how are you, Witcher? Things working out for you? Nice workshop. Bah, it's no workshop, just a simple forge. But thanks for the compliment, both in my name and the Master's. So how can we help you, eh? Okay, let's have a quick look. And that's actually the sword that we're using at the moment. I hope I didn't sell it. Daggers. Oh, I want to see the diagrams. This is good, we have to make this. Iron ore, timber and dragon teeth. We have to fight some dragon. Mm, Rust cutlass. Could also make that one and the other ones better. Let's have a quick look still. Alright. So, as I was saying, um, Geralt and Yennefer lived together with her witcher. place for a while, and, he'll agree. and then no. Geralt left. We just walk up and ask him? He couldn't survive. So how's it I, I did say that already, Everything I believe. Right. Um, what else happened? Well, he left a letter and didn't really say goodbye, which was rather um, not very nice of him. But, uh, well, they did meet again. That's the short story of how they met for the first time. And now, let's talk to some people over here. What was that? Lots of stuff. Did I see correctly? Oh, longsword. Free longsword. Nothing to... Mm, lots of stuff. We can sell that and uh, earn some cash. Mm, and are there any people here? Not really. 
Going Ooh. around, but they're sleeping. Damn it. Oh, and here's the map, but it's only... Oh, uh, knock down the candle. Let's not start a fire. Oh, it's only the map of the area that we are in. I remembered that there was map, a map here, and I was hoping that it would be map of the whole land, but fortunately it isn't. Uh, of the whole continent, I mean. Oh, Espadon, what's that? Espadon, additional weapon. Oh, that's extremely heavy. Okay, so he won't be, uh, we won't be able to perform the special attacks with it. Could be problematic, but let's just, let's just check it out. Maybe it will be used. Oh, that's huge. Okay, uh, we've looted quite a bit here. Mm. Greetings. Yeah. Let's go to the tavern. I believe we'll meet mm, Zoltan and Dandelion there. I should probably talk a little bit about Dandelion and Zoltan, but we'll have time for that. There'll be lots of running around in forests and such, so we don't have to hurry. Come on, guys. <laughs> Damn, that was close. Inkeep! Vodka! Tris Merigold! Lice eat me, but you are a treat to behold. Uh, just a little pale. Magic takes its toll, but I'll be all right. Good to see you in your beard again. Can somebody tell me what happened? You set off a month ago for Zoltan's wedding. That got fucked. There will be no wedding. Did you hear about Foltest? Rumors travel faster than the wind. Winds and rumors. I want to know the truth. I want to know how Foltest died. And the dragon, was there really one there? And who rules Temeria now? Dandelion, calm down. You'll choke on your liquor. No wedding, Zoltan? Ha! <laughs> the Bregan rigs broke off the engagement because some limp prick put it about that I joined the uprising in Vizima. My would-be popular refused to let a rebel firebrand join the family. Enkeep, where's our drink? It was like this. We got to Mahakam a week after the Grand Master died. Bought Zoltan an absolutely grand doublet, a pair of Garibaldi Krakows, and as a gift for Eudora, a jade stone as big as my fist. We were broke as a joke by the time Dandelion threw me a bachelor party at an establishment called the Tight Lane. Next day, we went over to the Breckenrigs. They welcomed us in, sat us down, and proceeded to discuss the superiority of Mahakaman mining know-how over any other. And that went on until dinner. Just when I thought I'd learned more than I ever wanted to know about mining, they served the soup. You could have held a pin drop. Old Breckenrig rose and he says, A real dwarf works a mine, not chases fame on the battlefield. You'll never believe this, Geralt, but they served duck blood soup. It was as black as tar. They must have dropped lumps of coal into the pot. Eat, Breckenrig says, then proceeded to slop two full bowls of the shite. Old goat. Hope his mind caves in on his head. For those of you who didn't get that reference, um. Duck blood soup, uh, black soup, at least in Poland, I don't know about other countries, in, well, in times past it was used to tell a suitor that he is not welcome. So if a man visited um, the house of his prospective bride and was served um, blood soup, or uh, in Polish it's czarna polewka, um, duck blood soup, he was uh, supposed to just uh, leave. Right, leave the girl alone because he is not welcome. That was a way of not saying it directly. Poor Zoltan. Lorido said you're working with the Scoyatel, Zoltan. I have done many things in my life, Geralt, but I have never stooped to banditry. The Scoyatel don't consider themselves bandits. But I am no Scoyatel. Since when have you worked for Roach? Hey! Nobody said a word when you went out to save Temeria from the Grand Master and his mutants. Relax, Dandelion. I was just asking. Do what you want. You're an adult, kind of. <laughs> that wasn't very supportive. Laugh away. At least I decided to do something constructive. You used to spy for Redania. Now you're spying for Temeria. Some might call you a traitor. Ever tried to live off of poetry alone? The truth is, I'm a citizen of the world. As long as I don't serve Emperor Emir, I'm not doing any harm. Even be, Geralt. You play the spy a bit, get bored and drop it. 
You know how he is. Oops, I clicked. Yeah. Doesn't skip too much, sorry. The dragon. Well, the dragon appeared, and that's all I know. But where did the Lavalettes get a dragon? We heard it fought on their side, huge as a barn, they say. Dragons don't usually take sides. Maybe its lair was nearby and it just felt threatened. If you hadn't driven it off, Foltest might not have taken the castle. Maybe. We'll never know for sure. Triss, you're the expert on Temeria. Tell us who's in charge now. It's chaotic and getting worse. The old families are fighting for supremacy, no holds barred. Baron Kimbleton, Count Merivale, I bet. Among others. After the assassination, while Geralt was in the dungeon, the Lords convened in a field near Lavalette Castle to choose a new ruler. Three days they debated, and it looked more like a bazaar than a meeting of nobles. Except the trade was in court and ministry positions, spheres of influence, royal privileges. Ha! <laughs> Humans! In spite of several duels and two poisonings, no king was chosen. Civil war was in the air. Did they ultimately resolve anything? No. It ended as usual. Sadly, John Natalis remains our only hope. Ah, the victor at Brenna, and Foltest's most tried and true field commander. Hmm. And during the deliberations, he was several days' march from Lavalette Lambs, with an additional 2,000 armed men in tow. He's to keep the peace until a rightful monarch is chosen. He could find that ruling is to his liking. Natalis is a soldier at heart. He's not suited to rule, and I don't believe he even wants to. He's got the army behind him. Which is why he can guarantee peace. Why, well, a tenuous one, sure, but that's always better than civil war. Besides which, he's deeply in debt to a dwarven bank in which Philippa Eilhart as sorceress holds a significant stake. Where were the mages? Hi. where were the great eminences of this world when they were truly needed? They weren't invited. Neither was I. But if not for their intervention, or rather that of a few influential sorceresses, Baron Kimball would have taken the throne. I was invited to sing at his court once. Afterwards, he refused to pay me, and the food was awful. No way I'll stay in Temeria if he's crowned. I think I've heard enough about politics. Foltest Killer lay in wait in the tower, where the Lavalettes had hidden the royal bastards. He was well informed. Wait a minute. What were you doing there? I was protecting the king. After the first attempt, Foltest began treating me as his lucky charm. He ordered me to be at his side during the battle. The dragon separated us from the rest of the army. The killer disguised himself as a monk, a blind one at that. He let Foltest greet his children, waited until I had walked off, then cut the king's throat from ear to ear. How did he flee? Jumped out a window into the river below. Yorvith Skoyatel were waiting in a boat. It was planned. And you're chasing him because he murdered the king? I was accused of the murder. I need to clear my name. Besides, I looked him in the eye before he escaped. He's a witcher. Then some brave Temerian soldiers showed up, piled on me, and knocked me out. Save yourselves, good folk! The beast attacks! We better get out there. Someone's casting spells. What sort of sorceress are you? A lot of good you did. Can't you hear me? Why didn't you help him? He's alive, isn't he? The beast nearly pulled him in the water while you stood staring like a calf at a shit-covered clover. Watch your words. Where's this beast? Ask her. Geralt. Ah, I guess we knew each other. Oh, look here. Birds of a feather. Let's say... I've heard of you. Master Witcher, this is foolish. The beast near pulled Sozek into the depths, and you're simply chatting with this damsel. All right. What happened? I came to Flotsam to kill the Cairn. Cairn? The monster that has effectively blocked the port. 
A moment ago, I had the good fortune to see it in all its splendor, but the local folk scared it away. Good fortune? You hear that, Sozek? That was some good fortune for you. Why is the beast in the port all of a sudden, eh? Summoned by the witch, perchance? To see it in all its splendor. Oh, yeah, let's just get them out of here. Sozek doesn't look too good. Lay him inside somewhere. Right, we've dawdled enough already. Come on, lads. Let's go. What's this? I was ready for a rumble there. Shut it, and come on. I apologize for interrupting, but I am Louis Merce, and I am chief person in charge of all matters related to monster hunting in Flotsam. It is in this capacity that I must inquire if you're willing to attempt to resolve the problem of our so-called Cairon, the beast that now blocks all trade traffic on the river. So, Witcher, are we willing? I usually work alone. I was here first, and I'll not relinquish this contract. My way or the highway, as the locals put it. Fine. Your way it is. You must contact the merchants on the waterfront as regards any rewards. Madame de Tanserville has, I believe, already conducted some preliminary negotiations. That I have. In that case, don't let me keep you. Triss, how long must I wait for you to introduce us? Sheila de Tanserville, advisor to Queen Zulika of Kovir. Kovir is a long way north. True. I had my doubts if the Kran was worth the journey, but those were dispelled with what it showed today. Here to hunt down some ingredients? Triss Merigold. Sharp as ever. You're thinking that? Troll eyes, ghoul venom, virgin's blood, all those disgusting marvels we take from dying species. To throw into the cauldron at Sabbaths. Right, Triss? Absolutely. Virgins are a dying breed. Oh my. Your sense of humor seems to be intact, too. But enough of these pleasantries. Tell me, Geralt, you saw the tentacle. What do you make of it all? The beast must be huge. Maybe inhabited one of the Pontar's tributaries before, hunting animals. Then it grew for some reason, and hunger drove it to seek fresh pastures. And on the Pontar it found trade barges burgeoning with obese, slow-moving merchants. You're partly correct. Cedric claims the Cairan emerged from the northern swamps approximately one month past. Cedric? An elf. Formerly a Scoia'tael. Strange bird. But he knows quite a bit about the area and its living wonders. I need to look around, find out a few things. Hmm. An investigation. Witcher's rituals, extracting secrets and such. More or less. I'll talk to the merchants about the reward, pay Cedric a visit and get back to you. You'll find me at the inn. I've rented lodgings there, on the upper floor. You know the inn's also a whorehouse. Thanks for the warning. So, Sheila. Always said, she actually differs the from the mm, character in the book. Mm, because, uh, first of all, she's not called Sheila de Transville. Transville. She's called Sheila de Tankerville mm, in the books. But uh, that was changed because... Well, I'm not totally you sure free? because... Uh, no. Well, it sounds like better, I guess. Coach. Also, she shows quite a bit of skin, and in the books she is portrayed as uh, usually covered up with black clothing all the time. We should probably talk to this Cedric. Uh, what are our quests? Oh, there was a notice board on the market. Let's get that. As a witcher, we should pay attention to such things. Hello, who are you? Witcher Geralt, known also as the White Wolf. Am I that hard to distinguish from the locals? Tala warned me you'd be catty. Tala sent you? Indeed. I'm on business here, so he insisted I give you a message and a package. What's the message? I quote him faithfully. Listen to Roach in every plowing thing, because though he's a prick, he's also a patriot. Vultures already circle Foltest's corpse, but I'll manage. Get the sons of bitches and keep your head cool. P.S. You really fucked up at the castle. Give me the package. Take it. It's a weight off my mind, I tell you. 
Ah, I wouldn't make much of an agent. All that secrecy and nerves and cursing, not my style. Good luck to you. I'm off to tend to my matters. Godspeed. Give my best to Taller. Oh, I will. Let's see what we got. Is that a recipe? Dragon's Dream. Bomb. Hmm, interesting. Thumb and blow gas. Did we have that one as well? Well, I did buy the silver sword, but it's better. Heavy leather jacket. Well, we might make that one. Cloth, leather, twine, hardened leather. We only need hardened leather for that. And it's a bit better than our jacket. Well, I think we can hold off on that. We might get some better stuff. For now, I should probably put armor enhancements into the armor we're wearing at the moment. Let's take everything. And drag a contract. Neck a contract. Dimitri Pardon. Troll contract. Kill the troll. And... Uh, what's that? Okay. Advertisement. We have some quests. Troll trouble. Troll seems dangerous. Well, maybe let's not do it just yet. Learn more about Andragas. That could be useful. Because we need Andraga teeth for that sword we had the recipe for in... Uh, what was that? The smith had a recipe for a sword with Andraga teeth. I think the stew's ready. Yeah. Quiet, woman. Where was it going? Let's, let's have a look at the see. journal. Mm. Loredo invited us to see him. Maybe not now. We should get to know more about the Karen from Cedric. Neck a contract. We should, uh, yeah, should take care of the Neckers, but we don't know enough about them. We'll need a book, or we'll need to ask somebody. And drag a contract. Yeah, same thing here, and probably same thing with trolls. Mm. Oh, yeah. We shouldn't be hunting trolls, but we might check this out. This is the main quest, and the Chiron. We're not going in. Uh, we're not going after the Chiron just yet. You saw how big it is. We need to toughen up a little bit. Maybe the Andragas. Let's like said this is uh, as our active quest, and we we'll probably need to get to, to know a little bit about it. You know what? We probably should find the uh, um, Cedric Elf. Um, so we'll get back to Chiron as the quest, just to know where he is, because it should point to him. Okay, so he's outside the city, the Chiron. Let's go talk to the elf. Through here, maybe. Let's go kill some monsters! You might know about the other monster types as well. So we can... Uh, use well, them. well! I had an inkling and it didn't disappoint me. It was a long voyage to this cesspit, but it's about to make sense. Voltest's killer, live and in person. Why are you How are you? Bar Happy and healthy? Can't complain. I am delighted, really. But you see, it's a long way back to Vesima, and I'd rather not dawdle. I lost a load of time looking for you. No reason to waste any more talking, then. Bon voyage. Listen, Jester. You're worth more to me alive, but if need be, I will take you back as a corpse. You choose. All right. Give it a shot. Drop your sword and put your hands together, or I'll not vouch for what... Shut up. Go ahead. Try to kill me. No need to fear those Funny. witches' tricks! I've got well, a turtle stone! a big sword. Let's check it out. But first, we need to shield up. Let's see if it works. We've got a wanted man here! Oh, Grab him, boys! You can perform all the nice attacks, and the quick ones, but it does have a punch. It does pack a punch, and it seems to ignore shield, no, it doesn't ignore shield. I think I'd rather be using a regular sword, though, because it's uh, much faster. Rest warrant. And some junk. Let's have a look at this arrest warrant. Mm, it's in books, yeah. Arrest warrant. Oh, a, ra a book about an Arrakis and dragons. We should probably look into that, soldiers. 
blah blah blah. Mm. Defend the temple, yeah. Well, we'll read that a bit later. Arrest warrant. It is hereby made known to all that the witcher named Geralt, a native of Rivia, has committed the high crime of regicide in slaying Foltest, king of Temeria. As a murderer and traitor, Geralt of Rivia has been sentenced to die by fire. A generous reward is offered for his capture and delivery to the proper authorities. He who delivers the criminal's head shall receive one half of said reward. Those providing reliable and confirmed information as to the criminal's whereabouts shall also receive remuneration. Beware, the Witcher is armed and dangerous. Yes, we are. Right, um, Gauntlets, are they better than ours? No. And those are... Um, actually better than ours, so let's use those boots. I probably should actually put those armor enhancements into the armor, because it's going to be a while until we get another one. And it seems to be quite good with all the bonuses. So, um, which ones are the best? Reinforced leather enhancement, armor enhancement, fiber enhancement, and just leather enhancement. Reinforced leather enhancement seems to be the best. I might save it for, save it for later though, should I? Maybe I should. Well, let's just pop in regular armor enhancements. Let's leave the better one for later. And it's armor 5 now. A bit better. It can actually protect us a little bit. I'm, I still haven't decided if I want to keep this sword. It is much stronger, but it's not very handy in quick combat. I think I don't want to keep it. Let's use the Temerian sword instead. The damage is much lower. Mm, Twine. Okay, it says double the damage. You know what, let's, let's stick with Aspen for a little while longer. If it proves problematic, we'll switch back. Because it is slow. Or if we get a better regular sword. Right, um... Yontek. Oh, at your service. Yeah, we were supposed to go and see Cedric the Elf. Or should we sell... Oh, how much junk do we have? Should we sell it now? Dwarves no. stealing bread from so the mouths of honest craftsmen. We'll talk to you guys later. Where's the gate? Here. Let's get out of the city. Oh. Some target dummies. We should take care of them because... Uh, I guess you can get some bonus for destroying many target dummies. Yeah, tra training dummies. So. The sword really is powerful. Maybe it will prove useful after all. Any interesting stuff to find here? Not really. Okay, let's continue. Talk to Cedric. I'm not doing too much story Where stuff now be because, well, there is. Uh, what dialogue. kind of question is that? Anyway, know where I can find an elf named Cedric? Don't get involved in this. Hmm. You did turn pale when we met Sheila. You must have imagined that. I'll tell you why later. I know you too well. Sheila's one of the most powerful sorceresses. That's no reason to fear her. She can't be trusted, in my experience. I know her to be devious and manipulative. Any proof? She's well aware you lost your memory, yet pretended she didn't know. And why would she do that? I don't know. Her true intentions have always been hard to fathom. I'll see if I can't learn what they are. How? I'll go hunting with her, right after I find Cedric. Well, then let's go see him. He should be at the top of his observation tower. Is he? Alright. Keep up, Triss. Keep up. This is the observation tower, I believe. Right. Did that guy over the pointer crossbow with me earlier? In Belk. It'll be nearly a year now. Moril would delight in a day like this, Saharan. Enjoy the memory of her. Don't wallow in the longing. I try. I do. But I cannot believe all the bad blood this disappearance has bred. 
Don't let others' shay poison your memory of her. Hatred is but an outlet for helplessness. Thank you, Cedric. Vafail. Vafail. Cedric? Hello. Are you Cedric? Who asks? Geralt of Rivia. Ah, the Witcher. And? Triss Marigold. Lovely scent, Triss. Cedric, look at me. What do you want, Geralt of Rivia? Hmm, well, that's a lot of options. Um, yeah, let's just talk. I'm looking to hunt in this area, and I could use some advice. I'm no Witcher. I set traps, snares, try to keep Neckers away from Lobinden. That's all. I'm aiming a little higher than Neckers. The old man? Meaning the Cairo? Finally, Laredo's splurged. Listen, I'm not one to teach your grandmother to suck eggs. You witches know your work. But if you pay me, I can prepare a useful trap. What kind of trap? Puncturing trap, immobilizing trap, even decoys to pull monsters into an ambush. Whatever you like. Since I can easily finish off an ensnared necker, it should be child's play for you. Okay. Let's explore all the options. Maybe he has some interesting things to say. Who exactly are you? One who warns humans against the dangers that lurk in the forest. Care to clarify? I am old. Even for an elf. Yet the forest is older. I've lived in it for years and understand it. Though it's nothing I can explain. At times I make mistakes and people don't come home. So you help humans? I just know if it's safe to venture beyond the gates or not. What? The elf woman you were talking about. How did she disappear? Sir Harim believes the forest took her. What do you believe? Moril simply vanished. Almost a year ago now. Some say she was too beautiful, and Dwan must have harmed her. You believe that? If I have no evidence before me, I try to trust my feelings. And they tell me the forest did not take her. Why would you keep that from Saharan? Because it's meaningless. Perhaps she was murdered, perhaps she departed on her own, never to return. She's gone. And neither I nor Saharim can reverse that. Maybe I'll come back when you're sober. You witches live a long life. You may indeed get to see that day. What are the Scoia'tael fighting for? Do you ask about the old ones, who hoped to restore our race to its previous glory? Or about the young ones, who fight for survival and out of suicidal revenge? Yorvith's warriors. Which mold do they fit? They believe they are still independent, and that there is but one just way to view their cause. In truth, however, they are but a shadow of the Enshe's former glory. They cling to delusions to the very moment when a sword or a noose ends their life, or until they realize the truth themselves, which is, I believe, the worst. I need to make a few orans. You wouldn't happen to have a job for a witcher, would you? There's never a shortage of work for a witcher in this forest. It's positively teeming with beasts. Though I'm not surprised they come here in droves. Know why that is? Cursed places attract all sorts of scum, like dung attracts flies. There was once a great house in the clearing. They locked up lunatics there. During the war with Nilfgaard, it was raised in a fire. The lunatics broiled in their cells. The ruins remain cursed to this day. Two daredevils went off to explore the ruins recently. They haven't been seen since. A great house, you say. Tell me more about the building itself. It was an old manor house that was converted into a mental institution. There was no shortage of lunatics in wartime. They just kept coming. Reverend Mercey locked them up in there and looked after them. If you find the two people lost in the ruins of the mental asylum, you stand to be handsomely rewarded by them or their families. Yeah, sure, why not? No harm in trying. Okay, um, these were not all the options. Okay, let's talk about the Cairn finally. I aim to kill the Cairn. Heard you might be able to help. That depends on the sort of aid you seek. I need information. We should have killed it years ago. Now, 
Now I don't know. The beast has become too large for the riverbed, and it has strange growths on its tentacles, extremely thick skin. Previously, it inhabited a swamp along one of the Pontar's tributaries. Completely wild terrain. Even the Scoia'tael don't venture there. You should go see the wreck of the boat it recently sank. Inspect any traces it's left. See the destruction. Where's this wreck? Venture south into the forest, then turn east toward the river. You'll find the ruins of a bridge erected long ago by the Enche. The wreck lies at their foot. Thanks, Cedric. Anything else? Trading? What was the, Oh, this was a portal. Which is probably... Okay, let's see what the... Oh, Araka's eyes. These are un alchemical ingredients that might come in handy later. Diagram. Carrying carpus armor reinforcements. Interesting. Good... Mm, good um, bonuses. Carrying trap. We might need to use that. Mm, that's a uh, trap. I don't use them too much. Well balanced dagger. We do have this. Off ball. Uh, those are mostly bombs. I'm not sure we need them. Bombs and traps. Mm, what else do you have, Cedric? Nothing that interesting. Maybe you want to buy some junk from us. Junk. Yeah. All the junk can afford. Long sword, yeah, sure. Rusty dagger, short sword. We're keeping that Marion one. Mm, daggers might come in handy and you can have the worn, worn leather stuff. We're keeping the alchemical stuff for now. Okay. Uh, Tris. Enough with the teleports. Can I come through? Pretty, the ripple effect. Right, mm, okay, there are more merchants over here. You can see on the minimap. Let's visit them first before we do anything else. Well, actually, you know what? It's probably time to end the episode. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked, liked it. And remember to like if you did. And I'll see you tomorrow with more. See ya!